Hello and welcome to Wednesday's Words of Worship. Today I'd like to talk about Nehemiah. Nehemiah was instrumental in the rebuilding and reestablishment of Jerusalem following the Babylonian exile. Now, even though Nehemiah was Jewish, he rose to a significant position in the Persian Empire. In the first chapter of the book of Nehemiah, Nehemiah finds out that the walls of Jerusalem are still lying in ruin, making the remnant of people there easy prey for the invaders and also the target of ridicule from their enemies. Now, God used Nehemiah to rebuild the walls. The walls were anywhere from 7 to 12 feet thick and 9 to 20 feet high, depending on the section. Now, that's an amazing accomplishment. But the first step for Nehemiah in this process is his concern. In verse 4, it says, When Nehemiah heard these words, he sat down and he wept and mourned for days. Now, in order for any change to happen in our lives or in our churches, there must first be concern about our ruins or our problem. The second thing that Nehemiah did after expressing concern was confession. In verse 6 and 7, there's a prayer of confession. Nehemiah confessed that the nation of Israel had forsaken God and acknowledges that God was justified in punishing them. We need to also consider our shortcomings and disobedience. And after Nehemiah shows concern, prays his confession, we see his confidence in God. In verse 5, Nehemiah says, O Lord God of heaven, the great and awesome God, who keeps his covenant with those who love him and obey his commands. We too need to give proper acknowledgement to God and his power. And then finally, after Nehemiah's concern, his confession, his confidence in God, we see his commitment. Nehemiah has a plan. And in verse 11, Nehemiah prays that God would let the Persian king okay his plan and give him the assistance that he will need. Nehemiah prays, O Lord, let the ear be attentive to the prayer of this your servant and the prayer of your servant's delight in revealing your name. Give your servant success today by granting him favor in the presence of this man. You know, Nehemiah accomplished a great task. And we can too when we express concern, our willingness to confess, when we have confidence in God and not our own strength, and commit to God's plan. What task does God want to accomplish through you today? Hey, thanks for listening. I'm Kevin, and I hope to see you again next week.